preferred my St. Rose delivery. Really? I don't know what you it was. the San Martin? Um, not San Martin, but oh. I went to Siena, but it's the same hospital group. So, um, St. Rose hospitals. St. Rose. Yeah. So you're you're talking about St. Rose San Martin. That's up yeah. the street. I lived in Henderson at the time, so I went to St. Rose Siena. And it was amazing. It was oh. Like, for it to be my first and second, the, everything was perfect. Like, I didn't have no issues. At Henderson, the vibe was different. I don't... I, I don't the vibe was different. Where'd you have your first one? In Idaho. Oh, so I guess not that. here. I don't know. And, honestly, like, all the moms I've had who've given birth at CNR yeah. or San Martin, they prefer... That's his face. The hospitals, yeah. You see my face? So, I would strongly suggest oh. St. Rose, but... <clears throat> Have you visited them sometimes? No, I want to do the, uh, the tours, hospital yeah. tours. Yeah. Wait, is this is he facing this way? Like Maybe looking he's facing up? looking up. Yeah. Is that the right way? No, we want them face face down, head down. Oh, so, okay. so he's backward. Back. Yeah. But they usually don't turn around until later, which is good because then we can see their faces better. Because <laughs> once they're facing your back, there's like it's really hard. Is there hair? A little bit. A little fuzzies. <laughs> Not super bald. long, but these little I haven't had any. These little lines right back here. Oh the hair. Yeah. They're just little tiny. <laughs> but at least he's not bald. <laughs> he probably will be. Bald babies look so funny. They look like they're mad. <laughs> they come out looking crazy. <laughs> kind of scary. My nephew actually, he was super bald so bald that when my sister went in to deliver and they were doing her cervix check they thought it was his butt <laughs> that's how smooth his head was that's funny like they did like a last minute emergency ultrasound to like figure out where his head was because mm. they swore it was his butt she's like no my doctor he's just, just told bald. me yeah she's like my doctor just told me he was head down there's no way that was just yesterday and they were like no that's his butt wow well, thank god and they did the ultrasound and it was his head <laughs> thank god they figured that out <clears throat> Because then she would have ended up with a C-section. Although she probably would have preferred it. <laughs> really? She had such a hard time burning him. How many? What was his pounds? Six pounds. Six pounds. Eleven oh, ounces. Really? He was tiny. She was just a little. She's a little dramatic. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be hard to push too, but for some reason, the first baby I pushed for like twenty minutes. Yeah. Only That's a few times. Are. That's how mine works. Does it get easier each time? Uh, well, my second one split right out because I was only a year. <laughs> That's what they keep telling me. Yeah, well, me too. I get, it's close. Oh, I guess it's two years But ago. still, it's close. Because my, my next one was right harder. Out. My next one, the eight-year gap was Oh, harder. yeah. Yeah, That's his hard. labor. It wasn't, it also wasn't terrible. I only pushed for like 15 minutes, if that. That's I feel good. like it was only like four or five pushes and he was out. But, That's um, pretty good. <laughs> really good. But... I never dilated to a 10 with him, so really? my, yeah, so I just wouldn't open up. Oh. <clears throat> so, I feel like that second one, as long as there's not too big of a gap, it's slide right out. The lady made me feel the way, because she was like, oh, you're nice and loose, and I was like, <laughs> Thanks, yeah, mom. What? Your mom is loose, leave me alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. But she was right, that was the only baby that didn't tear me, and she was my biggest baby. Uh, how, what was the pound? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. Yeah, so wow. from six pounds, four ounces to eight pounds, and she didn't tear me. So. That's crazy. So yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Not having nice. stitches was nice. Well, that's a nice baby. Yeah. What a sweet girl. It's for her little <laughs> chunky self to not. But I think that's what it was, just because it was back to back. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. I'm really nervous for birth. And that was me every time. Like once I hit like thirty weeks, I was like, "Oh, I gotta I'm push this baby so out." So scared. I know. I'm like, "Oh, I'm excited that. to get him out, but also it's like, oh my god." You just never know how it's gonna go. I so know it's, like, it's so terrifying. It's the unknown. I'm so scared. Like I, I feel like I know how to push. I know what to do, but I'm just I'm fucking scared. Yeah, I was not prepared to not dilate, and so they could have. They probably would have ended up giving me a C-section, but my doctor. She had been my doctor since before my first, and so we had a good relationship. And she, like, comes in and asks the nurses, like, oh, how's she doing? How's the baby? And they're like, the baby's not great, but he hasn't been great this whole time. And I was like, <laughs> okay, like, and we're just fine with that, whatever. And so then um, she was like, she said it. She was like, I know she can do it. I'm just trying to get her to attend so it'll be easier. And as soon as she said, I know she can do it, I was like, can I try? 
Because I thought I had to be at a 10 to push. Yeah. And so I was like, well, can I try? And she's like, yeah, on your next uh, contraction. And I was like, that's it. And so she's like all gowning up and gloving up, and I'm getting thrown in the and stirrups. And so, like four pushes later, he was out. And that's crazy. the cord was around his neck, so that's why he was. Oh. When the nurses were like, not great. Well, that's why the cord was around oh, his neck. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, so I'm glad. It's not his fault. I'm glad she said that and gave me like the courage to be like, well, can I just do it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh so, it's hard to actually like, have kids and then have a C-section and then you're recovering. Like, yeah. That just must make everything harder. Yeah, and that was my sister, but my nephew was older. So she had twins with her second pregnancy and she's hilarious. She was like, I want to try to push. And I was like, no. Because she was, <laughs> it was so terrible the first time. I was like, you must have forgot. Because <laughs> he was like nine when the twins were born. I was like, you must have forgot. And I told her, absolutely not. There's no way. And But then she ended up delivering seven weeks early, so. Wow. Oh, with twins? So, yeah. That Which isn't right. crazy, yeah. It's they want to deliver me time. early because uh, of my blood pressure. Yeah, and that is important because baby's well-being, if your blood pressure is going up, it's not It's not good. No. So, okay. Yeah, no. If your blood pressure is increasing, mm-mm. Um, it could put them in distress, too, so. Okay. So, is 37 weeks, though, what do you think about, like... Well, 37 weeks is considered full term, and so I'm sure the doctor today is going to make a recommendation. Okay. Um, You can watch yourself. Is going to make a recommendation. And will you get a weight? 